In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate a model that currently uses the MATLAB base workspace to store global design data to now use a data dictionary in Simulink. I'll use this example for this demonstration. As you can see, there is a bunch of data in MATLAB base workspace. You can look at the data dependency for this model by asking Simulink to give me a list of the referenced variables. This brings up the model explorer with a list of variables in the base workspace that are used by this model. This capability has been around for many years now and is quite powerful for configuring simulation and code generation environment. So let's take this model and convert it over from using the base workspace to using a data dictionary. To start with, I'll go to the toolbar and select that I want to link this model to a data dictionary. Then through the model properties dialog, I will specify the name of the data dictionary that I want to use. In this case, I'll create a new data dictionary in a specific folder on my disk and apply that setting to my model. At this point, Simulink prompts me to say that if I'm going to use a dictionary for the top level model, I should probably use the same dictionary throughout the whole model reference hierarchy. In addition, we would like to move the variables that are used by this model out of the base workspace into the dictionary. So in an automated way, Simulink finds all the variables used by this model, moves them into the data dictionary, and applies this dictionary to all of the models in the hierarchy. At this point, the model is converted over to using the data dictionary infrastructure. I can see this both through the icon in the bottom left corner and through the toolbar where I can access the data dictionary from the drop down menu. When I click on either of these locations, it brings up the model explorer again with the data dictionary selected. In some ways, this looks exactly the same as when the data was in base workspace. That is the idea. We don't want this to feel like a foreign environment. I have all of the same data as before, but I have some additional capabilities by the virtue of the fact that I have moved this data into the data dictionary. Firstly, it very strongly supports the change tracking workflow. For example, let's say that I want to change the value of a parameter that is present in the dictionary. The status column lights up telling me that the data has been modified. And I have additional columns telling me the time when the changes were made and who made them. Then I can go and investigate this data to understand what changed in more detail. I can revert the changes, but in this case, I will select show changes to bring up the comparison tool in MATLAB so that I can dig in and understand the details of what changed for this piece of data. If I'm happy with the changes that I've made, I'll go back to the data dictionary and save those changes to the disk. This completes the change tracking workflow for individual data elements from Model Explorer. Now let us see how Data Dictionary integrates with Simulink projects for change tracking at file level, along with other advantages like revision control. So for example, if I were to look at my project within the Simulink projects tool, a list of modified files are shown by the virtue of revision control. And I can go and look at the differences between the current version of Data Dictionary file that I have on the disk and the version of the file that I had in the source control system. Again, you'll see all the variables that have changed between the two versions. Once I'm happy with the changes, I can now check the files into the revision control system. For more information and examples, refer to the data dictionary section in the documentation.